Hey, Derek, I'm sorry for Doc Sports, and we have a big day of free picks. I got two for you today on the free picks. Hey, sorry about yesterday's free pick. Uh, Daily Racing Forum, where I get a lot of my information from for horse racing, they still had the races up for Lone Star, okay, on, for yesterday. And the uh, found out that Lone Star closed the, their track actually on Sunday after the first race of the day. Had not seen that anywhere, so my apologies for that one. Sorry, missed it, but I did. And so we move ahead today. And that's why I'm gonna give you two free picks, one in golf and one in horse racing today. And speaking of those two sports, guess what? I'm going big in golf this week. I got seven plays. That's right, four plus three, seven plays in golf this week. Total of 23 units, including two best bets going this week. So looking to have a huge week ready to go and you can get all of them today, Wednesday at Doc Sports for just $30. That's right, seven plays for $30. Tremendous value, take advantage of it. Horse racing also, okay, as I told you, I uh, just missed sweeping the board on Monday. And so today I'm coming back with three horse racing picks. They start at 3.09 uh, today. So check those out as well. And those are just $25 for three of my top plays, including, again, one best bet in horse racing today. That's going to be at Gulfstream. So got a lot of action going today. So let's get to the free plays. So the uh, the Workday Charity Open is taking the place of J the John Deere Open this year. And so we're, uh, we're going to be at Muirfield Village two weeks in a row. Yeah, that's a little bit different, right? Uh, in fact, the last time that uh, that that a tournament was held at the same location, uh, actually, I should even qualify that, the same golf course, okay? Same locations happened, happened 44 years ago, but it's been since 1957 since they played at the exact same golf course two weeks in a row but that's going to happen this week uh this week and next for golf uh so with that being the with that being the case what i'm going to recommend to you for free picks is take a look at patrick cantley uh in any head-to-head -head, uh matchup except possibly one is all i'm only thinking of and the one i'm thinking of actually there's i haven't seen it matched up anywhere uh, in terms of one other player. So Cantley is the defending champion at the Memorial at the same golf course from, from last year. Um, and this one, he this he's made six starts uh, this season. His worst finish was 17th, uh, and he has two top fives in that mix as well. So he's played extremely well. Now he's only made one uh, start since since the restart of, of the of the PGA Tour, and he came in 11th uh, in, in that one. And he even though he had showed some rust, particularly with his uh, iron game, his putting was exceptional. He actually led that tournament in fewest putts over the four rounds so for head-to-head -head action you can pick the uh, you can pick the player i would suggest patrick cantley for that one all right now let's get to some horse racing keeneland is open in fact uh for the first time uh in their 85 year history they're running in the summertime they normally always have a what they call a spring meet uh that was canceled of course because of the coronavirus so they're running gonna run five days this week each and every day, and so they're ready to go. So the first time in 85 years, they're going to have a summer meet. Now, what we're going to look at in Keeneland today is the race seven at 424 Eastern time. It's going to be one mile on the dirt. In this one, we're going to ignore the favorite, Father G. We're going to look elsewhere. We're going to start with Admire, who has been improving. And if you'd like to read some of the more details on that, you can go to the Doug Upstone page and read about that. Uh, and he won his, Admire won its last race, though uh, he's moving up in class in his last race in which he won. Two of the horses that he beat in that race went on to win their next race. So that's a very impressive feat, and I think he's going to finish number one in this race. Run and Ray is consistency personified because his buyer numbers in his last three races are from 80 to 82. Yeah, so And he's cashed uh, three of the four times with two wins with his current trainer. So that, that, that sets us up for third with Fra Moreau. And this uh, horse has competitive speed, compared to the other two uh, other two horses and has an excellent combination of rider and uh, excuse me of jockey and trainer in Santana Jr and Steve Osmussen so what we're looking at today 
we're going to go at Keeneland in the seventh race, a one, five, three, in order to win some more money for free picks. So we've done so well at it. So there you have it, two free picks as promised. And also, I'm coming, uh, I, you can check out my horse racing picks. I got a big three pack today, or my golf picks available all day today until midnight. You can get all seven plays, 23 total units, including two best bets. You can get all of that at Doc Sports for just $30. So until next time, I probably won't be around for the video tomorrow. Might, but probably not. Uh, but the free pick for sure will be there. You can check that out at the Doug Upstone page at Doc Sports. Until next time, this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. I'm out.